What's up guys, it's Michael over here from Killersynics Family and welcome to a new video. And in this video, I'm gonna do a planche workout. And in this video, I'm actually going to do my very first planche workout of my new program. And in my new uh, customized eight week program, I'm gonna focus on uh, the planche and the handstand for the next coming uh, eight weeks and I want to take you guys with me on this uh, new journey because guys lately I've been thinking a lot about my uh, goals and also the things that I want to work on and also the things that I'm uh, struggling with and as you guys know I've been dealing with my elbow injury for a really long time and I'm still having a slight discomfort when uh, I'm doing my pool exercises so that's why um, actually also after reading the book, The One Thing, I decided to uh, completely focus myself on the things that I'm actually good at and that, I'm, that, and that I can do. So that is basically the reason why I have chosen to work on a particular skill, the handstand and the planche for the next coming eight weeks to see uh, how far I can come. And I'm gonna just take you guys with me on this journey. And today I'm gonna do my very first workout. I have a whole program scheduled out for the eight, for the next coming eight weeks. And I'm also wanna share that with you guys in the next uh, coming videos. I'm gonna do a, a little vlog, a little Siri on this uh, journey. And in this journey, I'm also gonna share every single workout and every single exercise that I'm gonna do. I'm not completely finished with the program, but I'm gonna uh, show it to you very soon in one of the next videos. So um, yeah, today a planche workout and it's actually going to be a beginner planche workout as I see myself as a complete new beginner to the planche. Um, uh, last year I was able to hold the straddle planche for a few seconds but it was not uh, with a very good and uh, optimal form so that is why I'm gonna take a few steps back I'm gonna start from zero and from there I'm gonna uh, hopefully get better in the planche and finally work up to the straddle planche again so that is why I also created a beginner planche workout for myself today so I'm gonna get to the park and look where I am guys I'm at the Calisthenics Family Park, right over there. Uh, my bro, Yannick, is already over there. But before I start, guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos in the future. And also, please uh, smash that like button. And now, let's get into the workout. Alright guys, so welcome to the video. I just finished my warm-up and if you guys want to see my warm-up uh, Please let me know in the comments and I can cover that in one of the next videos So I'm gonna start with the first exercise and the first exercise is going to be the actual planche hold So I'd like to start with the static hold. I'm gonna do uh, the static planche hold with each planche training that I'm gonna do three times per week before my actual planche workout so this is basically going to be a test on, uh, so I can check what my current level is and if I'm progressing uh, during the week and uh, the workouts. So um, I'm gonna do this for four times and I'm gonna see what my best planche hold is at this moment. And my goal is to reach at least a five second hold. If I can't reach the five second hold, then I have to uh, take a step back with the planche uh, progression. So let's go. Alright guys, so that was my actual first planche hold of this new program. It was like a advanced stuck planche for seven seconds I think. So now I'm gonna try to do the exact same movement, advanced stuck planche, but now with uh, the legs open. So a straddle advanced stuck planche. Let's go. Alright guys, so now you could definitely see that my hips were a little bit too high, so they have to be at least equal with my shoulders. 
So that's why it's so very important to do some self-evaluation, to check your own form. So now I know what I'm gonna do about uh, in the next uh, set. So same set, same exercise, but hips a little bit lower. A bit lower. Yes, yes. Alright guys, so that was the first exercise, or not really an exercise, but just a check where I'm at with the planche. Now I'm gonna move on to my actual planche training. And the first exercise is going to be the power swings to straddle planche. So I'm gonna uh, do an L sit and I'm with a little bit momentum, I'm gonna try to get to the straddle planche and then go back. And uh, the goal, the purpose of this exercise is to get uh, better in my lean while making use of the momentum. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and this workout guys is actually a straight arm planche workout so that means only straight arm work such as presses leans and holds so let's get into the first exercise of the planche training of today let's go Alright guys, so as you could see, as I got further into the straddle planche, I tended to bend my arms and that is of course very bad. So right now I'm gonna try to do the exact same, but without uh, bending my arms and maybe don't go, don't go all the way to, straight, uh, to straddle planche. Alright guys, so that was definitely a lot better. So I've just decided that I'm not gonna uh, use the momentum, but I'm gonna do it controlled from L-sit to advanced tucked planche or just tucked planche while keeping my arms straight, protracted and pressed down like this. All right, two more sets, four to six repetitions. Alright guys, so I just finished the second exercise, or actually the first exercise of the planche training workout, the l to tucked planche. And now I'm gonna move on to planche lean presses. So with this exercise, I'm trying to lean as much forward uh, into a planche lean hold and then press back to a pike stand. Um, and the goal with this exercise is of course to get uh, stronger with my straight arm pushing strength while keeping my upper back uh, like protracted and um, not arched. So let's get into this exercise. Three sets in total of like four to six, maybe eight repetitions. Let's go. Alright guys, so that was the first planche lean press and I just watched the video back and I've noticed that I need to um, have my upper back a little bit more protracted so I'm gonna make it hollow and also um, maybe put the parallels a little bit closer to the poles so I can uh, more focus on my scapula. And, almost, and I'm also gonna put my shirt off so I can actually see my form. So that's also very important, guys. Uh, put your shirt off, so not only to show your gains, but also to check your own form. Let's get into the second set. All 
right guys, so I just finished with the planche presses and now I'm gonna move on to the third exercise which is going to be the max planche lean holds. And with this exercise the goal is of course to increase my planche lean uh, as far as possible as I can while keeping a nice uh, aligned body with a scapular protraction in the upper back. So let's get into the third exercise, planche lean holds. All right guys, so that was my last planche lean hold. And as you can see, I still have to work on keeping my scapula protracted while leaning forward. So that's what I'm gonna work on in the next few weeks. And now it's time to finish this workout off with my, with the last exercise, uh, some isolation work, some straight arm uh, raises. So let's go. All right guys, so for this exercise, I'm gonna use these uh, elastic bands and I'm gonna stand right here where I can do like 12 repetitions. So if I'm gonna stand here, of course it's gonna be pretty easy. So find a spot where you can do like 10 to 12 reps and then protract your scapula, depress and from here, full range of motion. guys so I am back in the car so this was my planche workout of today the very first planche workout of my new program and like I said I'm gonna uh, focus on the planche and the handstand in the in the, like in the next coming weeks and I'm gonna take you guys with me so this was more of a vlogging video and um, we're gonna do more vlogging videos just like this um, in which you're gonna see me training and also um, I'm gonna collab with a lot of other people, also subscribers, uh, some clients, but also other people, other YouTubers. So that is what you guys can expect in the next coming videos. And of course, we're also gonna still do our instructional videos. Uh, if you have some requests about uh, some topics that you want us to cover. So this was my first training. Tomorrow I'm gonna record a new uh, video, a new training vlog, and then I'm gonna work on my handstands, my one arm handstand. And of course I'm gonna uh, take you with my uh, workout. So for now I'm gonna finish this workout off with the little carb crusher from the My Vegan line. This is the chocolate orange one. And I can tell you guys this one is freaking amazing the taste is actually so much better than uh, the carb crusher so look at this guys so let me enjoy this uh, vegan carb crusher so that's it about this video guys uh, please let me know uh, what you think about this uh, video and also uh, don't forget to subscribe on our channel for more uh, daily and weekly videos uh, please put your thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out